Hello and welcome to Anthony's Brick Builds and today we're going to Lego Speed Champion set 76918. We have the McLaren Solus GT in McLaren F1 LM. Just for confirmation, this is the Solus GT and this is the F1 LM right here. This set retails for 35 US dollars, contains 581 pieces. This set came out in 2023. This is going to be a really fun set. Before we go on further on into this video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Turn the notifications button on if you have not already. Now let's open up the box and see what's inside. Inside the box, we have, of course, four numbered bags, two different instruction manuals, and two sticker sheets, and also a chassis for the F1 LM right here. My sticker sheet for the Solus got pretty bent in box. That's a little unfortunate right there. But I just want to point out that the renders on these instruction manuals are actually really, really good. Some renders on some instruction manuals look abysmal, but these actually look really good. That's just a little side note. I'll check in with you guys when I'm done building, and let's see the minifigs. All right, so here we have two minifigs included in the set. First, we have the Solus GT driver right here. This is, is a race car. She has a nice fire suit on it with some great torso, waist, and leg printing as well. She also has a nice hair piece and head piece. I feel like though this hair piece and head piece has been around Speed Champions for a lot. That's kind of like our default head, as well as for the F1 LM driver right here. He has a nice cool McLaren hoodie, some regular kind of legs right there, no prints on it, with a pretty nice facial expression and hair piece. And each of them include helmet, one black and one white. All right, so here is the Solus GT right here, a really nice and well done car for its shape. Lego did a great job making it. It definitely was a hard one to do. There were some really nice building techniques in the build. And we'll be starting up front right here. We have a printed McLaren logo or a sticker McLaren logo right here. And then you also have some printed parts on the other side of these wedge plates. And while, of course, we have the wheels over here. Now we also have the kind of like middle fuselage of the car where you have, you can take off the windscreen right here. Actually, it's a pretty cool design right here. And if you take a look at the cockpit of the race car, you have a game controller right here. And if you turn that up, and we're lifted up, you can take out the mini fake and put it back down. And then you could put the windscreen back on. It's actually a pretty cool idea to have like that cool kind of steering wheel, like an F1 car. And as we move to the back right here, you have a really large spoiler. And we also have McLaren right there and a sticker. And we also have, I believe there's almost like candle pieces that are used to be the little lights. I think that's like a really fun idea. All in all, a really nice Solus GT. Now let's take a look at the McLaren F1 LM. All right, so here it is. It's an awesome car for the F1 LM right here. Bright orange, a really nice car that stands out, and it's just awesome. So we right have right here a printed McLaren logo on the side. It's 1x4 tiled. Then you also have, of course, the front grille, and coming up to the front lights and all that cool engine stuff up front. Where we'll be getting into like the car or like the driver area, if you take off this. This car actually has like three seats almost. You got two seats back here, and then a third right here where the driver sits. A three-seater supercar is pretty cool. I haven't seen that before, so from Speed Champions, so that is just pretty interesting. Then of course, right front we have the tires, which I really like how they can put different inserts in them. There's different inserts, like you got that one. And you also have the one on the Solus GT, so you can swap them out in their respective colors. The side of the car is a pretty cool design where we have, I believe that's a paddle element from LEGO City, used in the middle of this kind of like rectangular, um, kind of like wedge plates, all that cool stuff right there. Then you also have this cool part where you have this kind of like modified plate that can bring this down to get that nice cool angle. And you also have the part where the engine goes with some one by four tiles. I also have a lot of stickers back here as well. And then the back of the car is a pretty cool. We have F1 LM right there with McLaren. And of course, you have the brake and turn signals. Then you also have the exhaust down there. So all in all, a really nice and well done McLaren Speed Champion set. Thank you guys for joining me for this wonderful episode of Anthony's Brick Builds. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Turn notifications button on if you haven't already. And stay tuned for some really cool Speed Champion sets and reviews coming in the near future. I see you guys then. Have a great day.